Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a makeup video for you guys on this look. This is my current everyday makeup look when I'm going to work. I'm using a few different products. I'd like to share them with you. I'd also like to share with you a few tips and tricks I've learned along the way from makeup artists, from YouTubers, little tips and tricks that I wanna share with you about applying makeup as we age. So if you would like to see how I achieved this everyday sort of natural makeup look, then please just do keep on watching. For my base today, I'm using my Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. I have the shade Macadamia, and I'm also squeezing in a small amount of my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. Thank you to Katie Jane Hughes who turned me onto this amazing foundation. It has great coverage and has a beautiful skin-like finish. As we age, I believe that less is more, so I avoid full coverage foundations. I don't layer my face with bases that will only accentuate wrinkles, indentations, and marks, so I opt for a dewy foundation with light reflecting particles to give my skin a fresh, radiant, youthful finish. And when I am wearing foundations that have a more skin-like finish, I do like to mix in an illuminating product with my foundation. I just really love that radiant finish. I basically avoid matte foundations altogether. For women who are aging, I truly believe that matte coverages are not the most flattering. If you are one that prefers to set your base, I suggest you avoid any pressed powder or powder puffs or anything that presses product into your skin and swap that out for a loose powder and just lightly diffuse the powder over areas that need setting. Before I go in and conceal, I'm using my Becca Under Eye Corrector. This is a great product. I like to use this before my concealer because it counteracts the darkness under my eyes, that purple darkness and just makes the concealer do its job so much more easier, I find. So it really does make a difference. So for all you girls out there who struggle with darkness under the eyes, I know that my god sister has this problem and I've been meaning to tell her about this actually. So if you're watching Tess, make sure you look into this product, the Becca Under Eye Corrector. It's a great product and I just find that my concealer works so much better when I have this on underneath. So now to conceal, I'm using my beloved NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Ginger. This is an absolutely gorgeous concealer that needs no setting. Although it's classified as a matte concealer, I wouldn't say that it's matte as in it's drying or flat. It is just so soft in its matte texture that it does not need setting. It is just a very beautiful concealer that has great coverage, does not look cakey, does not crease, and just does its job so well. I always apply concealer not only under my eyes, but also in between my brows, a little on my chin, around my nose, just to balance out the brightness. For my brows, I am using my Holy Grail product, the Brow Drama by Maybelline. Thank you to Nikki DeRoos who turned me onto this amazing product. It not only gives fibers to my brows and pushes them up, it just holds them in place all day and just gives them a very naturally groomed finish. I absolutely adore this product and have been using it for so many years. I think as we age, our eyebrows should look as natural as possible. Using a powder or fiber brush product and brushing the eyebrows up can make the eyebrows look so naturally beautiful. Just avoid pencils because they can look harsh and unnatural and very aging. As of late, I have been loving this little palette by Rimmel. It's the Kate Moss palette that contains the highlight, contour, and blush. And I'm telling you guys, for this time of the year when my skin is not so deep in tone, 
this little palette has been just magic for me. I love it so much. I've been wearing it on the daily. And the reason I love it is because the three powders work so well on my skin, work so well together. They're all there together. I don't have to reach for any other product. I go in with the contour shade to bronze my face and contour at the same time. So it warms up my skin. And then I highlight with this beautiful soft highlight that they have. And then the blush is just this gorgeous cool tone pink that doesn't make me look crazy. That is just soft, but adds a beautiful flush to my cheeks. I can't rave about this palette enough. It's so compact and cute, a great product to travel with. I highly recommend you guys. With the highlight shade, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the high points of my cheeks, my forehead, my nose, my cupid's bow. Using the blush shade, I'm going to apply a little bit to the apples of my cheeks and bring it up into my cheekbones and also a little bit across the bridge of my nose. going to go into the contour shade and using a fluffy brush I'm going to set that shadow down into my crease to define the crease and also along the lower lash line to give that some definition as well and complete the look. I also think that done eye looks over the top eye looks with lots of colors and shades can be aging as well well at least on me so this is basically my eye look i love to just apply something in the crease and on my lower lash line i think it just completes the look and i might pop a little shimmer on my lid but that's basically it i like to keep it simple when it comes to eyeshadow And using my pinky, I'm just going to dab into the highlight and go into the inner corner of my eye just to bring some light and brighten up the eye even more. I'm going to also use a little bit of that highlight under my brow bone as well, just to highlight that area. Now, regardless of whether or not I'm wearing makeup, I will always curl my eyelashes. I think it makes a world of difference. And the eyelash curler I'm using at the moment is my Tweezerman eyelash curler, and it's pretty good. There is definitely a significant difference to a before and after of curling your lashes. So for my mascara today, I'm using my Lancome Monsieur Big. I love this mascara. If you like voluminous mascaras, then this one might be for you. Mascara makes all the difference in the world to a woman's eyes. I think it just makes you look so feminine and beautiful and sexy. And even if I'm not wearing makeup, I will almost always wear mascara. Just one coat today because I want to keep my makeup looking pretty natural. I cannot for the life of me apply mascara without getting it on my lids. If anybody has a tip or trick to avoid this mishap, please let me know in the comments down below. But it is easily fixed. I just let the mascara dry and then just brush it off with a Q-tip. Now to finish off the eyes, I love a little bit of shimmer and this Sashido Aura Dew in Solar O2. It is the perfect, almost barely there, little bit of shimmer on the lid, but it is there and it's so subtle, it is so pretty and I just think it completes the eye in a very natural but glamorous way. I'm going to tight line my upper rim with my Rimmel Blackest Black 
Exaggerate Eye Definer. I definitely think it not only makes the lashes look so much more thicker, but it completes the eye look. It just makes it look more finished. So that's a step that I always do when applying mascara. Because I'm striving for a more natural look today, I didn't use mascara on my lower lash line, but what I will do is use my Rimmel Scandalous Eye Definer in brown. It's a gorgeous bronzy eye definer. On my lower rim, it softens the area, but also defines the eye, and it's just the most gorgeous color. As we age, a tip when lining your eyes is to line as close to the lash line or tight line inside the waterline. The secret is to make everything look connected and hard to detect. Shadows give an even softer and smokier look as well. So finally we get to the lips and today I'm using my Revlon Lacquer Balm in the shade 145. I love these, they're absolutely gorgeous. My favorite shade is Demure but I've run out but this is also a gorgeous nude shade. And I love wearing anything balmy and glossy, something emollient. I think it's so much more flattering than wearing something matte on your lips. As we age, our lips texture is not the same and we get wrinkles and fine lines and matte products only accentuate those. So I think balmy products are gonna be so much more flattering on your lips and make them look so plump and luscious. But if you are one that just loves a matte product, make sure to add a little bit of gloss or balm in the center of your lips just to soften the look. So that completes this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at my current makeup routine. I really wanted to share my tips with you, tips that I've picked up over the years and show you my current makeup routine. Let me know what you guys have been loving lately in your makeup routine, what products you've been loving and wearing this winter season. I would love to know. Thank you as always for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I guess I'll see you in my next one. Till then, take care.